In this video, we are going to learn how you can automatically create a new DigitalOcean droplet for new email. So the idea here is that your customers are sending you the configuration request for creating new droplets via email. Now you want that whenever you receive a new email, first the mail should be sorted based on specific keywords and then as per the requirement of the customer, automatically a new droplet should get created into your DigitalOcean account. But how to do this? For that you need to link your Gmail account with DigitalOcean. So we are going to create an integration and how you can set up this automation for that you need to come to my screen. So welcome to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes and by creating a new account, you are going to get free task every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we need to create a workflow. For that, Come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as create a new digital ocean droplet for every new mail. Okay, I'll just add every also. Okay, now here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want that whenever we receive a new mail, automatically using the details of the mail, a new droplet should get created into our DigitalOcean account. But first we need to create an integration between our email account and Pabli Connect so that all the mail details are captured over here in Pabli Connect. So open this trigger window and here let us choose the application name as email parser. Now here we can see a mail hook, an email address. So we are going to simply copy this email address from here and I'll just take you to the email address where I'm going to receive the mails of the customers. So here we can find the settings option. Click on settings and click on see all settings option. And here we have to click on forwarding and POP slash IMAP option. And here we can find add a forwarding address. So simply click on it. Now here it is asking for a new email address the email address on which the mail needs to be forwarded. So here we'll be pasting the email address or the mail hook that we have copied from Pabli Connect. Then click on next. Now here it is asking forwarding mail to this particular mail hook. Let's click on proceed. And here we can see a confirmation code has been sent to this particular mail hook to verify the permission. Let's click on OK. So we have received a confirmation code which we have to paste it over here. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and when we scroll down, we have got a response over here. Okay, and here we can find the subject that Gmail confirmation, a forwarding confirmation is received. Okay, and let us move to the body text over here and in the body text, we have got the confirmation code. So we are going to simply copy this conf confirmation code from here and we will be pasting it over here. Okay, now let's click on verify. So here we can see you have verified the forwarding address. So the address is for, uh, verified over here. And here we have to just enable this particular option that is forward a copy of incoming mails. Enable it and click on save changes. It's okay. So here we can see you are forwarding your mails to this particular mail hook and this notice will end in seven days. So all the mails that will be received over here on this particular email address will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. Okay. Now, to capture the email uh, responses, we have to just click on recapture email parser response. Do you wish to recapture the response? So let's click on yes. And now it is waiting for the email parser response. So whenever the mails will be received on that particular specific email address, all the mail details will be captured over here in the response. So here I am logged in from the email address from a customer. Okay. And here I have already drafted a mail. New droplet requirement. Hello team, we have a requirement for a new droplet. Please create a new one. Details are as follows. Droplet name should be testing Pabli. Here it, uh, the size and the slug requirement is mentioned. Operating system as Ubuntu. IPv6 as true. 
Thanks, testing customer. So I'm just going to send this mail. Let's click on send. Sending message sent. So the mail has been sent. Let's move to the email address that we have forwarded. I'm just going to refresh it. Okay, let's refresh it one more time. Okay, and here we can see that we have got a new mail, new droplet requirement, the mail from the customer. Now let's move back to public connect. And here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the mail are captured over here. We can find the display name, display address over here. We can find the sender name and email address over here. Here we can find the subject as new droplet requirement. And when we scroll down, we can find the requirement also. Okay. So here we can see the body text, the requirement of the customer. Hello team, we have a new requirement for a new droplet. Please create a new one, details. So all the details of the mail are captured over here. Now here you might be receiving various mails on your email address. But you want to run this particular workflow only for some specific keywords. It means whenever the mail or the subject line contains the droplet word or the subject line contains new droplet requirement word, something like that, then only this particular workflow should run. For that, we have to apply the filters over here. So come to this action step, open it. And here we have to choose the application name as filter. Now here we have to select a label. So just come to email parser and here we have to select header subject. So if the header subject, the filter type will be contains and the value would be droplet. Okay. So if the header subject or the mail subject contains droplet word, then only this particular workflow should run. And we are applying an or condition also or so let's click on this plus sign or if the mail subject so let us sub, uh, select header subject over here. Okay, header subject contains new droplet word. Then only this particular workflow should run. So let's check the condition by just clicking on save and send test request. So here we have got the status as success message condition is true. So why the condition is true? Just because in the subject line, new droplet requirement word is mentioned. And here it's satisfied are both the conditions even it is having the droplet word and it is having new droplet word also so it has satisfied the condition that is why the condition is true over here okay now here i'll just show you once again here in the body text we have got the requirement of the customer okay that the droplet name should be testing pably and the size slug should be this particular uh, sl uh, slug okay and here they want the ipv6 to be true so we have to just uh, retrieve these details from this particular body text for that, scroll down, click on this plus sign, add action step. And for extracting the text from the body text, we are just going to apply a text formatter over here. Okay, let's select the application as text formatter. Now here in the action event, we have to select text parser. Click on connect. Now here it is asking for the text that needs to be parsed. So here we will be mapping the text that we have got from email parser. So here let us map the body text. So we want uh, the droplet name to be extracted from this particular data. So here we have to give text match after. So the text match after will be droplet name colon. Okay, so let us enter the same over here as droplet name colon. So whatever the word which is after droplet name colon will be captured. And here we have to give text match before. So the text match before would be size. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. So here we have extracted the uh, droplet name as testing pably. In the same way, we will be extracting the slug size also, the size and slug. And in the same way, we'll be uh, extracting the IPv6 version also. Okay. So let's click on this plus sign once again for adding the action step. Again, choose the application name as text formatter. Select the action event as text parser. Click on connect. Again, map the text over here from email parser. That is the body text. Here we have to give text match after. So this time I'll be giving a size slug colon. Okay, so let us give it as size slug colon. Okay, and here we have to give operating. The text match before will be 
operating. Let's click on save and send test request. So here we have got the size slug also. Now we will be extracting the uh, IPv6, okay, the internet protocol version. Again, click on the plus sign add action step. Again, choose the application name as text format over here. Select the action event as text parser once again. Click on connect. Here again, we need to map the text from email parser that is body text. Now here we have to give text match after. So it will be IPv6 colon. So let us enter the same over here. IPv6 colon. Okay. And the text match before would be thanks. Okay. Now let's click on save and send test request. So here we have got the result that is true. So now we have got all the details. We have got the droplet name as testing Pabli. We have got the size slug also. And here we have got the operating, uh, sorry, the IPv version 6 as true. Okay. So now we want that using these details, a new droplet should get created. So let's scroll down, click on this plus sign add action step and choose the application name as Digital Ocean over here. Select the action event as create droplet. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Digital Ocean. Now here it is asking for the authorization, authorize public connect. So let's select the account from here and click on authorize application. Authorization successful. Okay, now the DigitalOcean account is connected to Pabli Connect just because I was already logged into my DigitalOcean account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your DigitalOcean account. Now here it is asking for the name, the human readable string you wish to use when displaying the droplet name. So here we have to enter the droplet name. So we have already got the droplet name from the text formatter over here that is testing Pabli. So we will be mapping this data over here. Okay. So let us map the droplet name from text formatter that was testing Pabli. Now here it is asking for the region. So here I'll be selecting the region as Bangalore region. Now here it is asking for the size or the plan. So here we can read the instructions, the, slide, the size that you wish to select for this droplet. Note, use get plan price to know about the price according to the size. So here we have already received the plan price or the size plan requirement of the customer from the trigger response and we have extracted the data also. So we'll be mapping this particular data. For mapping, just enable the mapping button over here. Okay. And remove this particular data. Come to text formatter. And here we'll be mapping the size or the plan. Now here the image is required. This image will be base image of your uh, for your droplet. So here I'll be selecting the base image for my Ubuntu operating system. Now here we have to select the backups. So if you want to make it false, you can just select it true or false as per your requirement. Now here we have to select IPv version 6. So we have already received this particular data from the customer. That is true. So we are going to map this value. Again for mapping, you have to enable the mapping button from here. Just remove this particular false situation from here. So we have got the boolean string. Okay, I'm just removing this false statement. And here we'll be mapping the data from text parser. That is true value. Okay. Now here, if you want to make it private networking or uh, a public networking, you can select a true or false as per your requirement. I'm just keeping it as false. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. And here in the response, we have got the droplet ID. It means a new droplet is created in our DigitalOcean account. Let's check it. Here we can see I have already created three droplets, Magnet PabCon, Pabli Test, and ConPab First. Now let's refresh our DigitalOcean account. Okay, and here we can see testing Pabli is getting created. Okay, it will take just some moments to get created. Okay, and here we can see that testing Pabli droplet is created over here successfully. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. So let's move back to Pabli Connect and let us save this workflow first. 
data save successfully okay now we are going to check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not for that i'll be moving to the email address for of some other customer and i'll be sending the requirement of the droplet from that particular email address of the customer okay so here i have already drafted a mail need a droplet hi please create a new droplet details are as follows droplet name as support papcon here i have mentioned the size slug also and operating system as ubuntu and ipv6 as false this time thanks dummy customer let's send the mail by clicking on the send button sending message sent so the mail has been sent now let us check our gmail address let's move to the inbox okay i'll just refresh it okay and here we have got a new email so now we are going to check whether the droplet is created in our digital ocean account or not let's move to the digital ocean account and we have to just refresh it okay and here we can see that a new droplet is created named support papcon over here okay and in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine so let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now we have to minimize all the action steps as well as my trigger step also okay so first we have created an integration between our gmail account and public connect using email parser so that whenever you receive a new mail into your gmail account all the mail details are captured over here then we have applied a condition over here that this particular workflow should run only if the subject line of the mail contains the droplet word or the new droplet word okay then we have applied the text formatter here because we need the details of the body text that we have got on the mail we need the uh, droplet name its size plan details even we need the ipv details so we have applied the text parsers over here and at last using all these details we have created a new droplet in our digital ocean account and in this way we have learned that how we can create an integration between our gmail account and we can create a new droplet in our digital ocean account using public connect thank you everyone so not just these software applications you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using public connect in case of any queries you can visit our public forum to check the pricing details of public connect you can visit this particular url also the link of public connect and this workflow is available in the description box you can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.